I had to stop for a refill. <laughs> My coworker cussed me out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peace. Hey, what's up, combo peeps? Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, another Channel's Fire Hall Direct Edition. And that right there, my friend, is a 20 book, $25 haul from Midtown Comics. They, I was kind of like saying, hey man, I didn't buy myself anything this week. And a flash sale came by and it said 99 cents on back issues. So I hurried up over there to the site it was 11.35 and I only had 30 minutes to pick out all the back issues that I wanted. So I was scared to death because you know, at 12 that sales ends and it was like almost like 11.50 when I wrapped up uh, buying all the books that I wanted to buy. So I think this, is, this haul is pretty big. I don't think I can fit it all in one video, but we're gonna try. You guys ready? Oh yeah, let's do this. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by Lip by Lips by Kimmy, Cooking KD, and my fake Darth Maul from China. Ah, uh, you know how we do. Let's get into some comics. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One of my latest videos is Second and Charles Hall. You also have How to Cook Chili, Three Piece Catfish. Let's scroll down and watch some of my favorite videos, like How to Cook Steak. You girls and guys be safe out there and I will catch you later. Peace. All right, let's do this, man. We got a major haul from what? Midtown Comics. 99 cent sale. Let's do this. Alright, boom. So we're just going to start off. I think all of my main events, really. But uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, I got this uh, Walking Dead 182. Uh, very cool Maggie cover. She's one of my favorite characters. She's very strong. Um, you know, the death of her husband, Glenn. And, you know, um, her father, Herschel, dying. And her sister, dying. Uh, she's just one of my favorite characters of all time as far as the, um, the Walking Dead mythos goes. So yeah, who doesn't love Maggie, man? Who doesn't love Maggie? Um, so yeah, I definitely had to get it for 99 cents. So I'm trying to figure out, should I pause in between or should I just allow my sexy fingers to interrupt your video? But there we go. We got our Uncanny X-Men number 21. Uh, cool juggernaut cover. I'm not gonna lie. I have stopped reading the X-Men shortly after um, Hope came back um, and, You know, they did the whole hope thing where she had her little group and Necrotia and all that. I stopped reading um, X-Men around that time uh, So I have to get back in my X-Men. I, I usually do that. I'll go in hibernation And then I'll come back with a vengeance as far as X-Men. So it, it only takes me probably like half a year to catch up with the X-Men. So I, I want to get into Ten of Swords and X of Swords, so I'm going to start warming up. But along with that Uncanny X-Men, this book is thick and huge. And all these came unbagged and boarded as part of the deal, but I didn't give a crap shizzle. Uh, bagged and boarded myself. Uh, this is Uncanny X-Men number one, X-Men Disassemble. This book was hot at one time, and I can see why, because it's almost like a trade paperback. It's really, really thick, really, really cool. Glad to see Bishop back in uh, fold. Uh, Nightcrawler with a beard, which we've never seen before up until this time. Uh, just awesome, man. Look, just the first three, just freaking awesome. So you could just imagine how much fun I was having um, doing this, uh, actually, uh, you know, going to the site and getting these books, man. So then look at this one. Boom, I've always, was going to purchase that book and it was like at four or five dollars adam hughes invisible woman and if you know me you know adam hughes is my favorite artist uh right now uh favorite artist right now is adam hughes jim lee is uh my favorite uh you know artist growing up i have a lot of favorite artists but adam hughes and jim lee are at the top so that invisible woman is beautiful 
and you know for 99 cents and they didn't bag and board them they all except one came in tr tremendous conditions all right allow my sex fingers to interrupt your video because we're gonna go ahead and clear off the board a little bit so we can get some more in there all right you guys ready all right let's get some more on in there let's clear off this board uh here we go look at this one guys boom kingpin number one variant very beautiful very beautiful copy uh definitely haven't had a chance to really look up the artists on some of these uh covers uh but you know i will eventually uh, but that's a great cover and definitely love kingpin especially the guy that portrayed him on the daredevil netflix series because um, I remember him from um, The Cell with uh, Jennifer Lopez. So I'm a big fan of the Kingpin just because of that uh, guy who plays uh, Kingpin on the Netflix series, Daredevil. So you guys ready? Look at this. Boom! Nice little uh, Nightwing uh, cover. Believe it or not, this is my first Nightwing in the collection, which I'm sad to say. I don't have any Nightwings, and this is my first one, and, uh, you know, this is a killer uh, Nightwing and Joker cover. Out of all the comic books I have, I am so ashamed. I gotta go back and start collecting a lot of the Nightwing comics. But I didn't need to because I was collecting Batman. But yeah, Joker War, uh, Collateral Damage, One Big Happy Family. I always thought this cover was uh, very hard. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Just very cool, very cool. All right, let's put y'all right there. All right, what we got, what we got? You guys ready? All right, let's keep rolling. I got so many, I don't want to stop the video because if I stop the video, I'm not going to be able to fit as many as I can in there. There it is. Old Man Quill, number one. Uh, reminds me of uh, Old Man Logan, number one. I uh, think this is cool. I I'm not a big fan of Star-Lord, uh, but I know his popularity grew when um, you know they came out with the Guardian of the Galaxy, uh, part one and two, and also the Infinity War and all that but very cool cover look at that maggie cover <laughs> that is that is to die for but yeah old man quill number one look at this guys and girls boom war Shack number two i thought that was a cool cover usually i always try to start at number ones and stuff like that but i was just having fun uh sipping, going through all these comics and i was trying to beat the deadline of 12 o'clock like I said I probably finished around like 1150 which scared the hell out of me but I got him all right let's keep rolling because we still got more to go so it's my third copy of, of Secret Wars number uh, nine uh, the one that I really need for the collection is number four and I probably saw that one I just kept flipping through they had they didn't have the whole Secret Wars uh, catalog but they had two of them and I picked number nine because I swore I didn't have it but I did I have two copies already so I'll be getting number four pretty soon whenever I run across it but yeah beautiful Alex Ross cover beautiful so this is the one that came damaged that kind of tore me up a little bit but I end up getting it again but this is if you, I'm a big fan of uh, Wolverine so that's Jimmy and Dakin on the front and if you look right down here at the bottom, there's a rip. And you know how I like my comic books. I almost took this one and threw it away. But I was like, no, nah, I'm a bag and board it and I'll just rebuy it. You know what I'm saying? But I almost threw it away. That's how meant of a collector I am. I, I can't stand <sighs> any rips or any dings or just serious damage to comic books. That's why I'm not a huge old school collector because I'm going to take my time. Uh, to find the best old school book that I can find, which is rare. So, very cool uh, Wolverine Sons cover. Let's look at this. Boom! So that's the Wolverines cover. That's, uh, you know, Sabretooth, Lady Deathstrike. Uh, you got X-23. And I think that is Dakin. And they're all, you know, um, looking over the... Uh, adamantium body of wolverine so very cool so yeah i want to keep the video probably around 12 minutes so let's hurry up and let's do some more and then we're going to dismiss you guys and i'll work on the next video right after this so we can get those uh videos up thank you sequential geek i got your um 
I got your package in the mail. Uh, I got a package for Sequential Geek, and I'll be reviewing that. So let's get into your main events. You guys ready? Let's do three main events to finish off this video. Your first main event is going to be Teen Titans variant. That's number 29. A uh, very beautiful book. Uh, Deathstroke. Deathstroke um, uh, shooting through the glass. Teen Titans has some of the best covers of all time. I mean, when they did that Lost Boys cover, that was pretty cool. Uh, definitely love that Nightwing cover. That is very awesome. But yeah, that's your first main event, which is pretty cool. Your second main event, I don't even... I just thought the cover was cool. That says the Black Monday Murders, and it's by Image Comics, and it's like a older book, and I just am totally drawn in by that cover. I picked it up strictly for the cover, and I just thought it was just. It reminded me a lot of Mike Magnolia, who is a, a father of a Hellboy, who created Hellboy, and uh, yeah, very cool covers. So the last cover I'm going to show you, this is a Ben Oliver cover. Very beautiful book. This is the first one I, I jumped on when I got in the sale, and that's uh, Ben Oliver's uh, Superman, which is very, very cool, man. Look at that cover. Wow. So there you have it. Part one of my Midtown Comic Hall. We're at about 12, 13 minutes. You know, I don't want you guys to have such a long video. You know, it takes, I know you guys got other channels that you have to watch and thank you for, you know, um, coming by and, you know, checking me out. You know, much love. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. Like, subscribe, share. Remember words of wisdom. Focus on the ones that show you love and on the ones that don't show you love. Hey, we're just going to keep on rolling without them. The name of the channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. I will catch you girls and guys later. Be safe out there. Peace. I might get that as a tattoo. That that cover is so nice. Just a ram head. Wow. Ben Oliver, Henry Cavill, Superman. Peace.